Hi everyone! Another book review! Woo! Okay. It's kind of, it's not, it's not really a sunny day, but it's, it's clear. And, like, there are no clouds, but it's like, it's kind of just like white. And maybe, like, you can see wisps of blue, but it's not like a bright sunny day. Like, there's no real yellowish, yellowing. Except maybe here on the screen, except I look like a freaking pale thing. Can... Huh. I can change my exposure on here. I still look very white, but at least it's not as super bright as it was before. Anyway, I finally finished this book. Holy freaking shit. Uh, I'm, I'm not keeping this book. This is not something I want want to keep, but it was kind of an interesting book. It only got in- I only got interested, um, yeah, I only got interested when chapter 14 started. And like, this is like the typography and the art done for like each chapter heading. Um, I'm not exactly spoiling anything, but this is a map from inside. I hope you can see it. I can't properly see it, so I gotta peek around to this side. There you go. Um, this is all just right at the beginning, so like, there's no spoilers. And then there's this. It tells you all this stuff here about the Grisha. And that's pretty much all you get until you get to this. Which is, I don't know why she calls it before because it's kind of weird, but it's basically the prologue. And yeah, so nothing interesting starts happening until chapter 14. Now there's 22 chapters plus a prologue and an epilogue. So that's 24 chapters. So like, I'm already past the halfway point when everything starts getting interesting. It's like, oh my god, why do, you, why do people have to write these kind of books that just like, ah. Uh. I like books where when they pull me in like right from the beginning and like, like, there's something that happens. It happens right at the beginning, and it just it pulls you, and it's like, great big hook. You take you it. And then, like, a little, then it just gets a little dull, a little, a little, for a little bit. And then, kind of like in the middle, it's another big hook. It's like, oh, I got more. And then, you know, you get to the ending part, and there's, like, the conclusion, the final hook thing that draws you all in. But this, it only happened, like, after the halfway point. So it's just, it's a little disappointing. But I still say you should read it, because, like, it's an interesting world that she made. Like, you, you don't really go to all the pla all of these places here. You only go to like, um, uh, you spend mo most, ugh, excuse my other hand. Spend most of the time here on this side. Like, so like right here, and uh, all the way over here, and here, and here, here and uh, over here, obviously, and then don't spend time in this in the other places. Like they mention places like this, 
little octagon or hexagon or something, this little spot right here, they mention that. You don't actually go there. But apparently that's a training post. So, like, that's not really a spoiler. It's just something they mention because... Like, that's where you get trained when you join the army. Most of the people in this book basically are in the army for some odd reason. But yeah. Some people might like this book. I can see some people. Yeah. Um... But it's not something for me. And if there is a, a second book or something to this, it's not something I would I would want to read or anything. But or would want or something like that. But I might only read it just to find out if they um cuz at the end they do kind of conclude it, but at the same time it's like kind of a cliffhanger the same time but everything is kind of all concluded at the at the end of this book but there's some things that just leave you like hmm hmm <laughs> um yeah like if she wrote a short if she wrote a short story about like what happens after and it's just on the website if she has a website she has a website, and this book has its own website. So, like, I don't know. Yeah, it was an okay book, okay story until you get like to chapter fourteen, and then that's when the good starts. Good, good stuff starts happening. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty much my review on this book. So, what do I have next? Something I've been waiting to read! Look at it! Look! I have all 13 or 14 books! And this is the first one! The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum with 42 illustrations by W.W. W. Dinslow. This should be very interesting. And then, uh, this is the next book. And the, the rest, um, af after it was The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, um, all the illustrations are done by John R. Nil, Neil, Nell, however you want to pronounce it. And like, I just love Neil's artwork. It's just, oh, it's so freaking gorgeous. And sadly, sadly enough, it's a whole lot better than D Denslow's, but I can't really be helped. So I've got this huge pile. Okay. And, um, coincidentally enough, I have actually read some of these books before. I ha I definitely have read this, but more of like a children's picture book. I haven't, no, I actually read it in an actual book. I just wanted, um, a copy of this book. Um, and this is an unabridged one with, with like the illustrations by Denslow. I wanted that. Um, and I've owned, I have owned this and this for like a number of years. So I've read these, I've read these two like a bunch of times. Uh, but the rest of them, I've watched uh, some movies, like I've watched uh, Ozma of Oz, um, and I've watched another one where they meet the, the Gnome King. If any of you have watched 
uh, Return to Oz, like that's by Disney. That was by Disney from like the '90s or something like that, all the way back then. Um, you would have met the Gnome King, and Ozma, and um, where, where is it? Oh, Mombi. M-O-M-B-I. And uh, the Wheelers. You would have met all those characters. Oh, and TikTok. But here, um, TikTok has his own book. I don't know if we meet him in that... No, we meet him first in... Um... This book. This is where we first meet TikTok. And, uh, yeah. But eventually TikTok gets its own book, like this red book here, that's all about him. And, uh, obviously right here, this blue book, the wizard gets another book, kind of all to himself, kind of. Um... A scarecrow and the Tin wood Woodsman have their own book. I don't know why the Cowardly Lion doesn't have his own book, but whatever. And um, this book is all about Ozma's birthday, but we will get to that when I get to this book. And, like, uh, I've already met a bunch of characters. And... As I read this stuff, you guys will meet a bunch of new characters. If you have not read the 13, 14, oh, where's, where's the book that has the, not that one. The original 14 Oz books by L. Frank Baum. The rest of them are by uh, other people who introduce like brand new characters or uh, they I think they kind of put the old characters on new adventures. I'm not exactly sure how you can put the old characters on new adventures but I think that's what they do. Yeah. Yeah, because I actually read a comic about, like, sometime in the far, far off future where, um, there are some Oz historians that are just, like, so fudged up and they're, like, ridiculous. And then there are some which are kind of, like, true believers or, like, they respect when people kind of write their own. And like they say, like okay, you still you just have to respect some things. Like your stories are pretty cool. I, I don't know. It's um, I'm sure it's in the li in, in the library system. All you have to really do is just like search for like a Oz books or like type in um L Frank Baum and stuff like that, and you should be able to get. It. It's, it's like, it's it be, it's done in the future. So, like, there's a lot of future stuff in it. I don't think there's flying cars futuristic, but, um, it's just done kind of in the future. And a lot of, a lot of the old uh, characters come back. They have, like, the, apparently... I haven't read them a lot, but anyway, I really want to get to my books because I've been wait I've been waiting to finish that book so I can get these read because I really want to read them. Yes, I got a flappy arm. <laughs> Whatever. I don't, I don't even care. My boyfriend loves me anyway. So to you guys, I am freaking beautiful. <laughs> so that's it for now. I'm going to be reading this book next, which will be very short, so this would be the next longest book I'm reading. Yeah. So, I'm going and getting on to my Oz books. Oh, 
Um, some of the publishers, um, like this is by Dover. And um, these ones like this, they're also by Dover. Uh, these ones that I love so much, and I only have three of them. I have this one, uh, The Road to Oz that I showed you, and The Tin Woodman, Woodman of Oz. They're both by um, Rand McNally. Right here. Rand McNally. And I love, just absolutely love that stuff. Um... And then I have this uh, only hardback book I have, and it's um, from HarperCollins. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why it, it's changed, like the publishing has changed over the years, but whatever. I actually think I missed one. It says right here, Little Wizard Stories of Oz. So, I don't know. I'll, um, I'll read all the beautiful stuff that's inside these books to you when I get to each book. After, when I'm doing the review. Oh, well, let's, let's get to this because this is the one I'm reading next. Uh, the Wonderful Wizard of Oz by unabridged by L. Frank Baum. Since it was first published in the 1900s, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz has enchanted readers of all ages with its lovable characters, gentle humor, and quiet wisdom. This complete and unabridged edition of L. Frank Baum's beloved classic invites a new generation of readers to travel down the Yellow Brick Road with the delightful little girl from Kansas and her unusual friends. Dorothy, her little dog Toto, the Tin Woodman, Scarecrow and the Cowardly Lion sorry, will charm boys and girls of today as much as they delighted children nearly a century ago as they set out on an exciting quest for the elusive Wizard of Oz. Along the way, they'll encounter the Wicked Witch of the West, the fantastic winged monkeys, the queen of the field mice, the kind-hearted munchkins, and other fanciful creatures. Reset in large, clear type and accompanied by 42 of W. W. Denslow's original illustrations. The wonderful Wizard of Oz is ready to whisk, risk, ready to whisk readers off once more to a marvelous flight of fancy. Mm hmm. All right. Uh... I'll read this introduction because it's right here. Folklore, legend, folklore, legends, myths, and fairy tales have followed childhood throughout the ages, for every healthy youngster has a wholesome and instinctive love for stories, fantastic, marvelous, and manifestly unreal. The winged fairies of Grimm and Anderson have brought more happiness to childish, heart, childish hearts than all other human creations. Yet the old-time fairy tale having served for generations, may now be classified, classed as historical in the children's, children's library. For the time has come for a series of newer wonder tales in which the stereotype genie, dwarf, and fairy are eliminated, together with all the horrible and blood-curdling incident, incident, incident devised by their... Uh, uh, <laughs> holy crap, I can't talk. I can't read, that's what it is devised by their authors to point a fearsome moral to each tale. Modern ed education includes morality. Therefore, the modern child seeks only entertainment in its wonderful tales and gladly dispenses with all disagreeable incident. Having this thought in mind, the story of The Wonderful Wizard of Oz was written solely to please children of today. It aspires to be a modernized fairy tale in which the wonderment and joy are retained and the heartaches and nightmares are all left out. L. Frank Baum, Chicago, April 1900.
with a cute little turtle in a boat and probably the um the uh, green glasses which um apparently you only get to wear them uh for like Hold on, listen, I did for like this book and I think for this book too. Just gotta Oh, yeah, the spectacles are in here, too. I don't know why. Because, like, after that, um, I don't remember reading about, um, Dorothy putting the spectacles on in this book. So, um, I don't know. I'll find out when I read it. <laughs> Alright, so that'll be the end of all that stuff because um I gotta finish I gotta go fold my laundry I gotta get some cleaning started I gotta get my room back in some semblance like making my bed and stuff like that so I'm gonna get going see y'all next time